Moving it up made that big of a difference. Here with Francesco Molinari, the one and only. He's gonna be walking us through a couple tips on maybe how to strike your mid irons a little bit better for all you viewers at home. We're just gonna walk through some tips, awesome. tricks from the one and only. If you had just maybe a, a small list of tips for the viewers at home on how to strike your irons better, walk us through that and then maybe hit a couple shots for us if you're down. I mean, I think this is control. It's all about consistency, right? You wanna have consistency of strike and of ball flight so that most of the variables out Obviously, if you don't strike it very consistently, then it becomes really hard to, to control your distance. To do that, I would say, I mean, it depends obviously how much time you have to spend on your game, but check your ball position pretty consistently. Whenever you play, when you start maybe warming up, hitting a few shots, try to find mid iron a good ball position just inside your left heel. If you mess around with that, then like I was saying, you know, strike gets harder, ball flight, changes and, and becomes a bit of a mess. Yeah, tip number one would be ball position. What about like weight transfer and stuff like that for you? Yeah, for me on a, on a mid iron, there's not too much weight transfer. You don't want to obviously move too far away from the ball, just kind of stay on top of it. And, and I think the easiest way to, to do it is focusing on strike. That's actually what, what I think when I'm standing over the ball, trying to hit a mid iron and, and control the distance, just focus on, on which part of the of the ball you're gonna you're gonna strike? Try to to find a dimple or, or something that you can spot on your ball and, and really focus on that. Yeah. And divot wise, are you trying to go down and through? Are you a shallow player when it comes to irons, or are you more steep? No, I'm, I'm pretty shallow. Yeah. yeah. I think again, if you if you get too steep, then you might be lofty and, and throws out throws away a bit the, the distance control. With an eight iron, obviously, you try to to get a, a little divot, but not go too, too deep into the ground, yeah. So find that happy medium. And then you get right as the helicopter flies by. Show us how the one and only Francesco Molinari does it. This is really cool to watch. I mean, it's different when you watch a, a pro golfer, especially at this level, hit a golf ball with his irons. It always sounds different, looks a little bit different. Um, Down, downwind here, I think 165 is pretty much a stock distance from my eight iron, so downwind. A little bit of a downhill light too, which is gonna make it go a little bit further. Right. So to take some distance off of it, I'm probably gonna grip it down a little bit. I think that's an easy way to, if you need to take some distance off and you don't want to mess around with your swing or anything like that. Yeah. Just grip it down a, a couple of inches. And Perfect distance. That's the other thing that I noticed is like I'm pretty steep. Yep. So seeing that like nice shallow divot and like how high you're launching that, it's, it's super, I mean that has to make it so much more consistent. Because for me when I'm like steep and stuff, it could go any distance, it could go long or short. Yeah, yeah, it makes it harder, yeah. Yeah, like we were saying, I mean, that's something you, you can train on the range, you know, just by going, trying to go a little bit less deeper into into the ground. Ball position too is obviously ma massive for angle of attack. Yeah. So for me, like when, when I don't play as well, ball position always moves back in the stance and then I'm a bit steeper and, and makes everything a little bit harder to control, but. Oh. Right at it. Oh. Great shot. That's amazing. They both look pin high. Straight out the car, no warm up. Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to have a go? Matt. <laughs> yeah. Well, you talked me into it. There you go. You got an eight on it? Yeah. Maybe a little too much for you, Matt. So. Yeah, maybe just take a little chunk off of it here. Remember what he said? Walk through the tips. What does he do to take some distance off of it? He wasn't listening. He was eating. <laughs> I was eating a burrito a grip choke grip. up on it just yep. had yep. to. there we go yeah I, I do know that because like the further you choke up on that shaft you lose a couple in, like you lose is it like one inch is five yards another inch is another five yards or something or isn't there like a trick I I'm talked not, to you I'm not, I'm not sure about that but <laughs> <laughs> all right so if you all the way down you get two feet yeah. <laughs> looks like good distance Good shot. Right. Perfect. Yeah. I'll give it a whack. I think that was a pretty good divot too. I mean, his divots were like this big. I took a question I got. I'm one of the worst. Er, I'm not a t high tier golfer in the group. I guess I would say when I choke up on the club, my biggest mistake is no. My biggest mistake is normally snap hook left. Do you have okay. any like if I choke up on it, 
Yeah. It always it hooks goes left. left. I never miss right. Is it just a me thing, maybe? <laughs> I think so. Let's see. Let's <laughs> see. I don't know. I think it's a me thing, but I'm without seeing it. Yeah. Oh, and then I do that. Plus two. Straight. Need Francesca watching. Yeah. You Move your ball up a little bit in the stance. Up in the stance a bit? Yeah. It's like right there? Yep. There you I go. Struck it. I struck it much better. Oh, wow, that went eight a little too much for Bobby. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just focused so up in the stance a bit. Oh my, there it is. That actually nice. felt really good. Oh, a little good. butter fade on it. And that didn't go left. That's actually a controllable yeah. shot. Yeah, that, that's, that's more of the fly you want. Yeah. I like yeah. that a lot. Thank you. All right. Moving it up made that big of a difference. I don't have any thoughts right now. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Right, I good. choked up too much. I want to hit one more. That was shallow. Distance was good. That was beautiful. Nice fly. Yeah. All right, well, didn't hit the green. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I play the ball a little too far back in my stance, so I'm gonna do that. Oftentimes I get all the way back here and I, yeah. you know, a little bit more steep. That's good right there, yeah. That butter fade is so nice. I think I was aimed a little right maybe, I don't know. That felt really nice. What would you say off that one swing? Ideally you wanna launch it maybe a little bit higher, move it up in the stance as much as you can. A little more? Yeah, yeah, can do more. There? Yeah. Ooh, that feels okay. weird. Oh. That was yeah. an interesting swing here. Just gotta get used to it here. That was higher though. You need to, it's, yeah. it's higher, you're right. You need to, to get used to it, obviously. It's, it's a big change, you know. It's yeah. gonna change your, your path and everything, but. Because your path is coming more this way when you move it up. When you move stands. it left, yeah. It's gonna go more to the left. With the, right. When you move the ball up, it's gonna go further left. So that's why you, you move yeah, it. Yeah, it makes sense. That's something that I definitely need to work on though, because I've always known I'm pretty steep, so. What could a Corn Ferry Tour Pro of two years learn, learn from Francesco Molinari? I kind of have the opposite problem. I, I usually, my ball kind of scoots a little bit up. Just kind of, I'm usually playing a fade. Too just up. like you okay. said, yeah, yeah. Just like you said, the pass starts moving a little left. Yeah, you, immediately you can see your ball position is, is up. very different to, to the other guys. Yeah, right. yeah. Yep. Anyway. Gee, shut up. Uh, I forgot. I'd In. Take some off. It's a little far. Yeah. Well, but yeah, that's, that's a great fly for distance control though. You can see straight away, higher launch, yeah. you almost spin. Grip it down a bit more. So like grip it down and just make the exact same swing you just did. Luke? Well, I might be in it. Luke's up there. Right. Unbelievable Luke. Well, sweet. Pretty good. Do. <laughs> Pretty good. I have one question. So with pros, I heard this, is with your long irons, you try and launch it higher and land it softer. And with your wedges, you're trying to penetrate it and hit it lower, correct? Like if you're on a 60 degree or also 56. Depends. Yeah, I mean, it, depend. it depends a lot, to be honest, week, week, week to week. Yeah. Course conditions, wind. I would say in general, with the longer clubs, you wanna hit it as high as you can and spin it as much as you can. Like it's, it's never gonna be enough. Right. With the shorter clubs, most weeks you're trying to take spin off, so you don't want to spin it too much because then it, it's hard to control in the greens. So that's where, where you want to find a good uh, compromise. But that's you know ball and equipment and yeah. there's many ways to, to do that. Yeah. But definitely, yeah, longer. I think longer clubs, as high as you can and as much spin as you can, you know, make it easier on tour. Yeah. Thank you, brother. All right, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank nice you. meeting thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. There you have it, guys. Iron tips distance control tips with Francesco Molinari. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Until next time, peace out. Peace.